Yes, Assalamualaikum and hello. So we continue our study here with a series parallel circuit in electromagnetism. Okay. So you can see here this is the series parallel. So if you look here, this is a, a, a source, okay, F magnetomotive force. Okay, at the winding it will become magnetomotive force, and from let me draw this. Okay, if you have winding here, okay, so this will represent a magnetomotive for something like this. Okay, so you have I here and number of turn. Okay, so F is equal to an I, this one is F. Okay, so next you have a core here. Okay, so assume this is the length of the core. Okay, until the center. Okay, the mean. Okay, so this is the length for L1, and the area here is the same. Okay, so this is A1. So the area is the same. So if you translate this, it will become only one because it is one in series. So reluctant. Or if you want to use S, 1. Okay. Flat third, 1. Next, at the center here, you can see here. Okay. Before I forget, this is the flux. Okay. So you have flux here. The flux flowing here is flux 1. So this is flux 1. Okay. So next is the, this one. Okay, so you have a center part. Okay, so did we stop here at the center? Go until here. This is the length. Make sure the length is at the center. Okay, this is at the center. Okay, and for this case, we have another resist uh, reluctant here. S2 or S3. For this case, S3. Okay, this is. Okay, flux 3. Okay, and then this one. Okay, you have another line here. Okay, make sure you put it at the center. This is flux 2. So you have a reluctant here. Flux 3. Okay. So this one is S3. This one is flux 3. This is flux 1, flux So, make sure you understand the series parallel. So, the law is almost the same. Okay. Uh, so, you have to find the S total here. S2 parallel with S3. S3 then plus S1. So, this one is the reluctant, a uh, total reluctant. So, if you want to calculate the flux, so the flux is basically flux 1 is equal to flux 2 plus flux 3. Okay. Almost the same. It's almost like a current. Okay. Uh, and if you don't want to use S and Q, you can use. Of course, this one is uh, flux. Uh, magnetomotive force is equal to S total flux 1. Okay. So, if you don't want to use this, of course, you have to use hash L. Okay. So, if you don't want to use the reluctant F plug, you can use hash L. But for hash L, you, you have to do something like a Kirchhoff current, a Kirchhoff voltage law. So, let me change this. Okay. So, you have to do a loop here. So loop here and loop here. Okay. So this one is L1. This one is L2. Loop 1 and loop 2. Okay. If you can see here at loop 1. Okay. At loop 1. You can see here. It meet this one. 
so f or if you don't want to use f you can use ni equals to okay you have the first reluctant here okay uh h1 l1 okay so this one you have to measure the magnetizing force okay and then plus this one plus h2 l2 okay remember this one for this case you cannot make it like a uh, like a kitchen current uh, kitchen voltage law eh? if you use this you have to use this one if you use the ni is equals to uh, h1 uh, not h1 uh, h2 l2 okay s1 plug 1 plus S3 flux 3 where the flux 3 is equals to flux okay flux okay so be careful eh? uh, this one okay be careful you have two types okay and N2 so F2 you have uh, if you do the loop at L2 here so you can see here h3 l3 is basically equals to h2 l2 okay so that is how you transfer this and you can start applying the kitchoff voltage law a kitchoff current law almost the same but the difference is the symbol you use okay same as here if you put it at the center okay Okay, if you put it at the center, make sure you change it accordingly. Actually, it's almost the same. Okay, so this one you have the series here and you have the parallel here. So if you put using this one, it's almost the same. Okay, so basically, if you put at the center, you have something like this. Okay, actually, plus and minus is not applied here. So, so the reluctant at the center here. So S3 and then you have S2 and then you have S1. Okay. This is only apply if you have the same area. Okay. Cross section area here, here and here is same. If you have different one, for example here at this location, it is different. So you have maybe two. Okay. So if you have this one and this one is the same. And this one is different, you have two. So S to A, S to B. So if okay, this area is same, and then this larger, and then this one is the same again. So this one until this one, and this one until this one, you combine it to become S to A, and then this one to this one, S to B, because you have a different area. So be careful and you need to know how to do this. So flux 3 is equals to flux 1 plus flux 2. So you have to assume the direction. Okay, same here. If you do a loop here, okay, make sure okay, you follow it. So plus and plus. This one is plus and plus. Okay, that's it for series parallel or uh, parallel series magnetic circuit okay this one is not to uh, no need to focus too much okay usually this one is complicated but if uh, this topic is get into your test or exam i will give you more explanation on this so no need to worry okay or you can do some practice maybe in the textbook here uh in here i'm not sure whether it is available or not Okay, so let me check first. Okay, unfortunately, it's not available, I think. Okay, yeah, it's not available. Okay, uh, so maybe if... Okay, this one, you can try it. This is an example here. So you can see here, it is a magnetic circuit. Okay, let me... 
just show you so you have a source here plus minus okay so you have a reluctant here a core and don't forget the gap so you have two reluctant this one is else one this one is s gap okay make sure you know how to draw this and then this one is a circuit here s three okay another one is s two so you have this one is plug one plug plug two and plug three okay silicon steel arranged as figure a the center limb and cross section area is 800 and the side limb across section area is okay so s1 okay and equals to sg sorry a1 equals to ag equals to 800 mm squared equals to okay 800 divided by 1000 squared equals to so 8 multiply 10 power of negative 4 okay so a2 equals to A3 equals to 500 mm squared equals to y multiply 10 negative 4 okay. meter squared. Okay, so calculate the MMF required magnetomotive for Cartagena's one Weber at the center of the limb. So, uh, basically, this one, okay, milli Weber. So the flux at the center is one milli Weber okay assume the metric cache is neglected okay and the length here let me adjust this so L1 is 150 mm okay LG is 1 mm so don't forget to change this 0 0.15 meter 0 0.001 meter l2 equals to l3 equals to 340 mm equals to 0 0.34 meter okay so next you have the area you have this and Okay, they don't give you any okay let me check so they don't have any information on this mu r okay they don't show any mu r so how to calculate this okay it should have mu r but it's okay uh, so for this case you have to find the s total first to get the flux okay so S total is basically uh, okay, L1 divided by mu naught mu r okay, A1 plus LG divided by mu naught mu r uh, sorry, mu r is 1 for this case because of the gap so mu naught AG plus L2 okay so L2 and L3 is the same thing okay the area is the same so you just multiply by 2 okay divide by mu naught mu r a2 okay so because this slim is the same so you can just simplify this okay so after that because there is no mu i think there is there is the mu is available in this textbook they will write it in here so but i'm not sure where is it so required okay 
so the information is not complete actually many of the information is not complete so this one cannot be solved actually but uh, if you do this so flux okay yeah this information is not complete okay so you can try to do others Okay, for this case, uh, let me adjust this. Maybe we do this one. So magnetic core of my steel dimension is figure B. Gap is 1.2 mm. Okay, and is 200 uh, 400 turn. Okay, center of the limb. Okay, cross section area is. Okay, the A1 is. 1600 mm squared equals to okay. so 1.6 multiplied by 10 negative 3 meter squared so area of the center okay, area area at 1 and area at 2 which is at the side which is around 1000 meter meter squared equals to 1 multiplied by 10 negative 3 meter squared okay calculate the exciting current find i to produce flux okay flux is equals to okay 1000 micro fiber Find I if flux at the A gap flux G equals to 1000 micro weber. So, neglect magnetic clickage and fringing effect. So, you have L1 is equals to 0 0.3 meter. Okay, so L2 is basically. 500 okay you can see here this is 500 mm this also 500 mm okay and because this is very small 1.2 millimeter you can neglect it okay no need to worry on it okay okay for this case they already neglect it not neglect uh, is already included basically 250 is uh, without the gap okay sometimes they don't include it so 500 mm equals to 0 0.5 meter so this one l2 is basically l2 combined okay so one meter multiply by two okay so the s total so s total is equals to okay for this case you cannot do that Let me adjust this. Okay, so S total is equals to L center. Okay, L1 plus L2. Okay, L1, L2, mu naught, mu R. Okay, A1. Okay, mu naught mu r a1 plus l2 okay oh okay maybe this one is a bit confusing so let me adjust this so st is basically s1 plus s2 okay and parallel with s2 again because it's the same thing but this time plus S cap. Okay. So you have to calculate one by one. So S1 is equal to L1 divided by mu. Not mu R. Of course, this one also don't have mu R. Okay. You have to check back the book for the mu R. Okay. A1. Okay. And S2. 
u equals to l2 divided by mu naught mu r a2 okay s gap is equals to l gap length of the gap divided by mu naught mu r is 1 so just neglect it area of 2 okay because it said that fringing is neglected so the area here is the same so the area at the uh, a gap is the same as a2 so you add this and then you include inside here so s1 is equals to plus s2 s3 s2 s s2 plus sg divided by s2 2s2 plus sg okay so something like this okay you add this okay so you get the s total okay when you get the s total Okay, so let me adjust this first. Okay, so you have already has the S total. Okay, and then you have to calculate the flux. Okay, so flux at the gap is equals to. Okay, remember Kirchhoff uh, what uh, current division rule, almost the same like that. Flux G is equals to. Okay, S g okay sorry s2 okay divided by s2 plus s2 plus s2 plus s2 plus sg okay remember you have uh, you want to find the current here okay you want to find the current here okay you have to uh, uh, use this reluctant divided by the total reluctant multiply by the total flux so the total flux is equals to okay so this one brings up there so 2s2 plus sg and then multiply by flux gap so flux gap already give you even 1000 microweber okay and then you get the flux okay and then i okay f is equals to ni equals to s total flux okay flux this one flux at one okay this one also flux at one okay so i is basically equals to s total flux one divided by n okay so make sure you try to do this okay i show you the way and try to do it on your own okay but this usually this question will not come out uh, in the test because of the difficulty but if you want to try you can try it okay there is another this one okay from this you can determine the okay this one also useful okay from this you can determine the mu r okay mu not mu r okay remember the b hash curve uh, b is equals to mu hash so mu is equals to b divided by hash so mu not mu r equals to b divided by hash so mu r is basically b divided by hash mu not so this is how you determine the permeability okay so make sure your practice okay you can try answering the textbook Okay, the answer I think is not provided, but it's okay. Just try on your own. Okay, uh, that's it for series parallel magnetic circuit. Okay.